I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Jason, I'm glad I could help. Once you deliver that data, I could use you on the Normandy. I promised to see this mission through. I did. I can leave with you and send the data to the fleet. And if the Admirals have a problem with it, they can go to hell. I just watched the rest of my team die. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to yet another episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition on Insanity Difficulty right here on Missile Dine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another Mass Effect video. Uh, we're cruising. We're cruising through these huge shout outs to those of you watching in the premieres and a bigger shout out to those of you supporting the channel over on patreon.com slash missile dine online. Uh, I would not be able to do this without you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sincerely appreciate you. And also to everybody that comes to my streams and watches my video. You guys are just awesome. I love you so much. This episode is going to be a bit of a side quest central. We have a ton to do on a new planet that we haven't been to yet called Helium. But we're not going to get into that just yet. Uh, I do want to go ahead and show um, some of the stuff that we got before. So we have a new mission now. Jack has a personal matter she wishes to discuss. We'll deal with that later. Dossier the Justicar and Dossier the Assassin. These two uh, recruitment missions are all on Helium. That's that's it. There's also this thing, Liara to Sony. The Liara to Sony is apparently on Helium. And we need to go talk to Miranda because she has a, uh, a loyalty mission that actually requires us to go to Helium. But first, before we do that, we need to overhear What's wrong? a bad conversation. With New Camp. Might be the collectors. Did your family get out of there? I don't know. There's no communications yet. I'm sure they're safe. Y you'll see hope they are now this is like a little side story that you can keep overhearing every time you come in here it's kind of cool but we i don't need to go into the women's restroom so we're down in the crew quarters and that's where we were just able to find that garris won't have anything to say to us weren't you originally stationed on horizon yes if i hadn't joined cerberus i'd be abducted by the collectors right now wow you really dodged a bullet yeah i couldn't take that they creep the hell out of me the collectors are a little creepy Garrus is going to have literally nothing to say to us because he never does. He hates our faces. But uh, if we go over and say he's just going to say something about uh, Need needing something. to calibrate. Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? See what I mean? Minute. All the time. It's like, Garrus, just love us, dude. Like, what is that so much to ask? Anyways, we do need to go talk to Miranda. She does have a loyalty mission for us. And uh, this is going to be one of our first non-DLC loyalty missions that we are going to undertake. So let's go ahead and let's do that now. Hi, Miranda. How are you? Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. You remember what I told you about father building a dynasty? There was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. So you think your father's tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. Did your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. Hmm. What about your sister? What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical. But she deserves a normal life, and she's going to get it no matter what. Why your sister over you? What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nose Astra docking bay. Great. So just like that, we were able to get the loyalty mission. And I feel like this is the best time to get that because it really, like we have to go to Ilium to, to yes, we got a dossier that says, hey, go to Ilium and, and recruit these people. But she gives us a personal reason to go there like right now. And I feel like if we that's- we have time, I'd like to go to Ilium and relocate my sister's family. 
Why are you looking Can for you it? Tell me more about now, they've actually changed the camera. This was like a big controversy when the legendary edition of this game was coming out. Uh, they changed this angle. This actually used to be further back. It wasn't as zoomed in. You could see Shepard there, but it was also, it showed Miranda's butt. So now we don't get to see Miranda's what do you butt. Need but me to my do? Bob, it's my contact not that big of a deal. Time. People were so mad about it, but it's not, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Anyways, uh, we're going to head out of there. Um, it's She's telling us an important conversation about, yeah, sure, she's got a great butt. We all want to see her butt. But she's talking about her sister being like, you know, it's just not the right time to see her butt. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, so we got that mission from her. And now we can head on up to, we could talk to Tally. She doesn't have anything for us to say. Grunt uh, doesn't have anything to say. Jack will actually start sending us on a loyalty mission. And same with Jacob. So we're going to ignore all of them for now. And we are going to go do some shopping. Jack would like to talk with you, Commander. See, told you. Uh, we're going to do some shopping instead. And uh, this is a big side quest episode because we're not going to jump into anything super, super important uh, just yet. We are going to leave Haystrom. And look at that. 70, far rim, 75%. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right. We need to go. We need to go 100% this baby. Let's do that. We'll fly over to Ma'at and scan everything. So back to the mass relay and time to head. Not to Ilium. No, no, no. Instead, we're actually going to head to Omega. And we're going to head to Omega because we have more credits now. But even better than that, we actually have some characters that can do some things. We'll have some dialogue options from characters that we haven't seen before, like Tally and Jack and Grunt, who have never been on Omega. Well, Grunt, we kind of brought him. But the point is, is we can bring them. So Tally, for the first time, we're going to put her into our party. Look at how beautiful she is. And we can change her appearance, too, if we'd like, which I actually like her alternate skin. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll go ahead and bring Jack with us as well, who is just so badass, which also means that we need to put some points into their stuff. We're going to max out Jack's points first with Primal Adept. There is no reason to do Vanguard. It's going to increase her weapon damage over her recharge time. That is not... We, we don't care about her weapon damage. All of her stuff is going to be from her biotics. And the faster she can do them, the better. So we're going to go with Primal Adept. We're going to put two points into Shockwave so that she has that. And then we're going to put some points into pole here uh which are going to be just a little bit better um and we can use some biotic combinations that we haven't been able to use in the past and then we also have tally the quarian machinist thing that we can do here and she has two different ones including quarian mechanic which is going to power duration is actually uh it takes a little bit more of a hit and weapon damage yet again again i don't think it's worth it i think having more power duration is the way that we want it to go so Corian engineer is the way that we're going to use that she also has a very powerful ability for a vanguard once she does her loyalty mission called energy drain unfortunately we do her loyalty mission very very late in this playthrough so uh, i have another solution for a bonus power so we're going to put points into her combat drone as well here. And we're actually not going to put any points into her AI hacking. And the reason for that is because it kind of just slows things down when you're playing a Vanguard on Insanity. Yeah, sure, you can hack something. But honestly, you can probably just charge it and kill it faster than there's really no need. It only works on synthetic enemies. I just don't see a point when synthetic enemies actually aren't that frequent. And we're going to be dealing with a lot of collectors and husks and stuff like that. Energy drain is going to be very very useful um it it works on opponent shields or synthetic enemies it's just going to be better it's just going to allow us to be more aggressive so we're not going to put any points into her ai hacking at all so keep that in mind and we don't need to worry about any weapons so let's continue looking through omega we have shopping to do uh we need to see if these characters have anything to say um, that's a big one. Obviously, anytime you go to the Citadel, Omega, Helium, other places, uh, you can talk to your squad mates about what they're seeing and kind of how they feel about Omega. Um, so keep that in mind as as you as you go to these areas like this. Some of this reminds me of life on the flotilla. Cramped and crowded with no real privacy. And the people don't work together for the common goal. There's no sense of family here. Just fear. Hmm. So that's why you bring, that's why you bring them, uh, all of the characters, you should always bring them here. Ignore Ish, don't talk to Ish yet, Ish has a side quest for us that we don't want to worry about, because Jacob and Miranda are actually the people that we want to bring when we talk to Ish and complete that side quest, so don't worry about it right now. 
Now that Tally is on our side, and we will be coming to Omega, you don't have to do this at all. It's actually, if you're being really time efficient, you don't have to come here at all. Um, but we want to buy stuff. And uh, we're going to go ahead and buy stuff that we can buy here, like this hack module, which doubles the time limit for hacking. Now that we have credits, we can actually buy that. We're going to go ahead and buy the capacitor chest plate. And we're going to go ahead and buy the terminus armor just because it looks cool. And that's all of the stuff that we can get from Herod's. But there's even more that we can buy now. This one should be, we get the capacitor helmet that we could do. And really what we want is the strength boost pads, which honestly should have gotten these earlier. Uh, increases melee damage by 25%. I think these are actually available once you complete uh, Horizon. We're going to spend 50,000 for this sniper rifle damage here. This might be useful. And we're going to buy the capacitor helmet. Even though we don't need it, we're not going to use it. Uh, I still like to have that. Weapon Specialist, 4 out of 7 fully upgrading because we got that sniper rifle. And we also have the option to talk to Jack if we come over to... Where is it? Is it up here? There we go. Let's talk to Jack here at this cargo. Big selection of illegal ships. You could drive here if you're strong and ruthless. I like it. You know, Jack, Omega would be perfect for you, actually. Like, she would do really, really well here. I mean, well-ish, I guess. Anyways, we can take Kin Salvage as well, where we can not buy this because we don't have enough credits anymore, but we can buy the Stellar Dynamics T6 FBA couplings, which we have been able to buy forever, but now that Tally's on our team, uh, you'll actually see why when we get back to the Normandy and deliver that to the engineers. Uh, I highly recommend waiting until the Tally joins you because it's just, it's just better when that happens. But that's all of the things that we can buy here on Omega. So let's head out. We don't have that many more. We don't have that many credits. Um, and we are going to need them for when we get to Helium. So Omega is going to be our last little stop here. And now it's it's time to go. Actually, we have 50,000 credits. So we're going to take another pit stop, actually. We're going to go to the Citadel. We're going to bring Jack and Tally with us so that we can get their dialogue as well. We're kind of taking taking this this moment to do that. We're ignoring the side quests on Omega because don't worry, we'll be back here and we'll actually do them. Uh, there is something that I haven't said yet that is worth mentioning. There is... You have about five missions until the next mandatory mission happens. And I definitely recommend doing the the ones that are going to reward you the most experience before you end up kind of being screwed and having to go do that mission after that though you can do everything in the game without being forced into something now back on the citadel we're gonna bring tally and actually we're gonna bring uh kasumi here because there's a little bit of a mission uh a little side quest that we can do while we're here on the citadel that uh i i we're gonna do it in a better way uh-oh That was us. My bad. Anyways, I think that's really cool. So you can listen and you you hear you hear about Luna. What is happening? Oh, those guys are just yelling at each other. All right. Well, anyways, we'll go through here. And uh, we actually want to head to the Presidium. Because we can... Uh, uh, we will head to the Presidium. First, we're going to go through and just make sure we have everything, which I believe we should have most things here. If you head over to Citadel Souvenirs, you can actually buy more fish now, the Thessian Sunfish, and you can also buy a Model Sovereign, which, uh, <laughs> no big deal. The Geth flagship destroyed at the, the Battle of the Citadel. So we can go ahead and grab that. That will be displayed now in our Captain's Quarters, which is cool. Uh, and we get the Codex for Sovereign. You guys will remember Sovereign. And then you can also talk to Kargesh over here. If there's any place on board we could buy a fish. Yeah. I don't like live animals on the city. I just bought one. Life support Anyways, why don't we go over to the Presidium real quick so that we can get the dialogue with... Uh, hi, Captain Anderson. So we can get the dialogue with Tally. Which I believe is... Right here. This is near where we first met, Shepard. Fist and his men seemed so dangerous. We've come a long way. Don't know if that's a good thing, but it's definitely more interesting. It's true. She's the best. Hello, Captain Anderson. Something I can do for you, Shepard? 
We can actually ask uh, Anderson about Caden on Horizon. Caden Alenko was on Horizon. He said he was looking into Cerberus. I know. I approved the mission. We had to find out if they were behind the missing colonists. I couldn't tell anyone without compromising the investigation. I'm sorry. That's okay. You were spying on me? I thought we were friends. Never expected you to go behind my back. We didn't know about you at the time. And I wouldn't have told you if I did. What if the elusive man was manipulating you? Yes. Lying to you? Of the course. report actually confirmed your story. I still don't trust Cerberus. But they were right about the collectors abducting the colonists. Unfortunately, Alanko didn't find anything to convince the council that the Reapers are behind this. Or even that they exist. Yeah, but isn't the fact that there's Reapers a, a pretty big deal? I better go. My door is always open. Well, anyways, so that's a little bit hidden of a dialogue because there's no real reason to come back and talk to him at all. Um, but I'm glad we did. Just because I kind of forgot that he even said that about Caden on Horizon, but kind of cool. So we can head over to the Rodham Expeditions, which I believe they should have heavy pistol damage for us now. 50,000. That kind of uh, is going to eliminate all of our credits at this at this point. We have 5,000 credits left, uh, but we got another pistol upgrade, which actually, again, this is all worth doing um, before getting too far into the game and before we're, we're demanded to go to certain places. Obviously, the more upgraded you can be before Horizon, the better, but uh, you're probably going to be low on credits like, like I was. Anyways, if we head down, we can start doing this side mission that we have uh, that I think I actually did it in a earlier episode and then I, I went back and, and didn't do it. And Anyways, because if you bring Tally, you'll actually have a lot more with this mission. So, we come over here, you know what are like. they take anything not welded to and we can deck. talk to Leah Vale. Sorry, I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not! Just because I'm a Quarian! I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vault Clan need... It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. Let's see what's going on here. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn shit. Do you spend a lot of time at the used ship dealer? Yeah. They've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... Your pilgrimage isn't going so well, is it? No, I... I came here thinking there'd be a lot of work. EVA stuff, salvage. Fixing all the damage the Geth attack caused. Everywhere I went to apply, sign said not hiring quarians. And the other people would give me mean looks. Hmm. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible that shit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. I believe you. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. But she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. Tell he's going to be pissed. See what Bailey wants to do with her. She's not a vagrant. She's on pilgrimage. It's a tradition in which. Look, you can take your traditions and cram them. Every time a Quarian shows up here, it's trouble. Dude. You say she stole your credit chit? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. Hmm. How does running into you mean she stole your credit, Chit? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. Quarians are only forced to steal when people like you won't let them have real jobs. And to think my taxes pay to support you here. Go back to your fleet, clanless. I am Clan Zora, crew of the starship Nima, and you are an idiot. It's not worth getting angry about. My brain agrees with you. My gut says I should jack his suit's olfactory filter so that everything smells like refuse. Can you do that? I know some people who... Nah, forget it. 
And that, my friends, is why we bring Kasumi, because she has a really funny, I think, a really funny reply to that. Uh, anyways, I think it's awesome that, uh, uh, oops, she stole your let me, uh, go back to where I was. There we go. Let's leave it in the store. Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? This side quest... I didn't even buy anything there. ...is so that worth doing in my with Tally on your... It, there's, like, nothing that really happens here, right? You just go and you find it. But if you bring Tally, I'll she has some awesome things happened. to say. I love her so much. It's a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we... <sighs> all we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. Sure, if buddy. If you do happen to find the chit... Please let one of our officers know. All right. Let's go. Be careful out there. So, Please be careful let's go find her credit chit. But if we head over to Saronis Applications Shepherd and talk to Marab uh, here, my favorite customer. What can I get you? We can ask about the credit chit. Here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chit. Oh. I didn't notice he left until he was already gone. Shocking. Did you see him? Tell him I have it here behind the counter. What a jackass. I'll be here if you need anything. Anyways, let's go tell them right over here that, hey, actually, you said you didn't buy anything. You did buy something. So not only are you a liar, you're also a little bit racist, xenophobic, whatever, and also just sure a dick. With... Please move along. I found it. You forgot your credit shit at Saranus Applications. The clerk's holding it for you. Oh, well... The Quarian could have stolen it. I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get what? a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? What? You falsely accused this girl of stealing from me. Almost you. missed that paragon interrupt. She could have stolen it. Now, just a minute. And you? She gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy. How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? Good luck. You think you're gonna run in a specter? I think both of you should get out of here. Son of a. <laughs> Thank you. I. I wish I could give you something more than words. Can you take care of yourself from here? I guess. I mean, most nights I eat nutrient paste in a Turian shelter, but I'm surviving. Good luck, Leah Vael. Thanks. Leah Vael. We get a ton of. Uh, well, we get a thousand credits, but we get a. a a ton of uh, paragon points from doing it that way and again it's just like it's just worth doing it because you get to see tally just be amazing anyways let's go ahead and put jack into our party here as well uh just so that she has some some stuff to say and hey maybe grunt does too so if we head over down here towards this restaurant we'll actually have a conversation with grunt who's not even this is for food out here my tastes run more along the lines of edible. Looks like worms, dead ones. This a human thing. Ugh, I'll pass. I'll eat almost anything, but I stress almost. He doesn't like ramen. <laughs> that's that's Grunt's uh, that's Grunt's weakness. He'll eat almost anything except for ramen, which is what. Anyways, we'll go to the bathroom and have a much less funny interaction with Jack. So heading into the men's restroom of this, the Dark Star, Star Bar, we're going to have a conversation with Jack that's uh, not great. So just just uh, keep that in mind. Reminds me of a latrine in Purgatory. Seven guys came at me. Guards and prisoners. Split one's head open. Snapped the spine of another. But I was slow. They got me. Later on, I got them. Anyways, um, Jack's had a rough life, but that's all that we can do here. We had all of the conversations with people, so we're getting back on the Normandy and we're going somewhere else. But first things first, we do have research to do now that we're back on the Normandy and we just did some serial serial shopping. So let's go ahead and let's upgrade our sniper headshot damage plus 50% headshot damage and it affects the entire crew. We'll go ahead and grab that. And the AP Heavy Pistol, squad bonus 50% Heavy Pistol of damage against armor. 
very, very useful for what, uh, for what's coming, actually. And that should be all of that. And we don't have anything else that we can get yet. No armor upgrades, uh, unfortunately, because we don't have enough to buy the shields that we can get. Um, we just don't have enough money. We don't have the 75,000 credits, but we'll get it. And now, finally, we can head to Elium. Before we head to Elium, though, we do have a message that we can read. And we're not going to be doing this DLC just yet, but it's called Layer of the Shadow Broker. It's a really big deal. It's very useful. I am so torn on when to actually do this DLC. So if you guys have an idea, if, you've, if you're like, like me and you're like, oh, I really like to do it here or I really like to do it there, let me know in the comments below. Try to keep it spoilery spoilery free there's a ton of stuff that you can get there a ton of upgrades and research and all of that uh and tools that make the game really cool but it's also weighted to happen after the end of the game so uh i don't know let me know what you guys think anyways we'll get this message shadow broker intel we're aware that your old friend liara to sony has been hunting for the shadow broker for several years we wouldn't mind helping her in that hunt giving that broker's past work for the collectors we recently uncovered some information that might give Liara a lead on where to find the Shadow Broker's base of operations, but unfortunately, she doesn't have much faith in Cerberus Intel. If you'd visit Ilium and pass it on to her as a gesture of goodwill, we'd appreciate it. So now we know that Liara Sasoni is on Ilium, which means we're definitely going there. She was our love interest, if you remember, in Mass Effect 1, and uh, gosh, do I miss her so much. So we'll arrive here where Ilium is, but first, scanning. And we've scanned everything, so now we can go to Helium. And now it's worth mentioning that we need to start uh, keeping an eye on our credits. Credits are finite in Mass Effect 2. It's not like Mass Effect 1 where you can just keep farming it, or Mass Effect 3 even where you can just keep farming it. Mass Effect 2, what you get is what you get. So uh, hopefully we'll be fine. We've been buying everything that we see when we can buy it. So we'll see how it goes. Helium, though, is a classic garden world developed to serve as intrapot between the Terminus systems and the Asari Republics. This is an Asari world, sort of. To abet this trade, the normally strategic custom laws that counsel space on product safety, blah, 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 uh, is relaxed. Officially, Elium is not an Asari world. It is colonized and operated by Asari corporate interest, much like Novaria. Elium is one of the youngest Asari colonies, so we're landing. I accidentally hit X, so we're landing. We're actually going to choose a party of Tally. We're going to go ahead and bring her with us and Miranda, because I think their dialogue is going to be the, probably the most interesting going into this. And uh, we're not going to worry about this again. There's no points that we can really put in anything. It doesn't really matter what we have. Anytime that we do a mission, uh, we'll be able to not only select our squad, but also our weapon loadout. And we're landing on Helium for the first time. Look at this place, man. The Asari are definitely my favorite race introduced in the Mass Effect series. They are... I just... I love them. I mean, look how pretty they are. Well, let's see how this goes. Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Wait, why is it free? Who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. Uh, Liara? You said Liara was here? What is she doing? Liara is one of Nosastra's most respected information brokers. Nosastra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. We keep hearing a lot about trading, so what is that? You mentioned trading. What gets traded on Ilium? Anything you can imagine, Commander. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. In order to remain competitive as a Terminus Systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants. Uh, what? I can't believe an Asari world would allow slavery. We try to avoid calling it slavery. All indentured servants on Ilium have voluntarily agreed to a term of service. Most choose indentured service as a means to pay off debt or avoid imprisonment. A contract holder is responsible for the well-being of her servants, and a servant's duties are agreed upon before the contract is signed. And what about this place that we're at? What can you tell me about Nosastra? It's an exciting city. 
We see a lot of new cultures and goods because of our proximity to the Terminus systems. At the same time, Ilium is still an Asari world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the Citadel. For your own safety, however, I recommend against signing anything. <laughs> What's so dangerous about signing something? Ilium is a free trade world commander. Contract term requirements are more relaxed here than on other planets. It's a small price to pay for keeping our competitive edge in goods from the Terminus systems. And what is there to do here? Do you have any recommendations about what to do on Nosastra? Our trading center is directly ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on Nosastra that you can't find anywhere else in the galaxy. Huh. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. I imagine she can. Thank you. Well, looks like Again, we're getting welcome to our city commander. A nice little Please intro enjoy your stay. to Ilium here by a beautiful, beautiful Asari. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. Also, I have a message for Miss Lawson. Oh? Antea has reserved a room at Eternity and will be waiting. Thank you, Edie. Interesting. So what are we gonna do first? Look at the Normandy and how beautiful it is. Look at Elium and how beautiful it is. Uh, this place is actually home to one of the best, not just the best missions in this game, but one of the best missions in all of Mass Effect, um, which is the layer of the Shadow Broker, which we're not going to do that DLC yet. Um, I, I just don't know when we're going to do it. But we can go ahead and talk to Miranda here at this Vista. You have to give the Asari credit. Ilium is a cultural marvel. Humanity can learn a lot from their ingenuity. They really can. And I like that Miranda actually appreciates Asari. There's one here that we can talk to. Pardon me, I'm on a... No, you don't understand. I lost it somewhere near the transport terminal. Oh, I'm sorry. It can't be replaced. It's a token from my bond mate. Okay, it's well... the only thing my child has to remember her father by. Oh. Please, if you find it... No, I understand. Oh. Anyways, we can talk to Tally here as well. Very few Quarians ever set foot here. Ilium doesn't allow the flotilla to approach beyond a certain distance. This is the greatest planet in the galaxy for those who can afford it. And they work hard to keep the Quarian fleet away. The poor Quarians are so... They're treated so poorly by everyone. Anyways, let's check the news on... Celebrations are planned across Terra Nova for the upcoming anniversary of the thwarted terrorist attack on the colony. Former hostage Kate Bowman... Well, we already did that. ...to read a thank you message to Alliance soldiers who rescued her. The Vitarian terrorist responsible for the attack on the colony, known only as Valak, remains at large. Anyways, uh, we can leave that. There's nothing that we can really... Excuse no news. Me. Excuse me, are you Commander Shepard? Yes, I am. Hello. Uh, Commander Shepard, I saw your... I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. Uh, who is it? I met a lot of people on Novaria. Could you be more specific? I believe the message itself should make it clear. Shepard, we hide, we borrow, we build. But we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours. And our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again because of you. I'm glad to hear that you're rebuilding. Are you somewhere close by? The Rachni Queen is not here. That message is one of many memories I carry from her. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. How awesome is that, my friends? Let's hear more about the Rachni. What was the meaning of that message? I got that she was grateful. What else was her message saying? That the first Rachni war was a mistake. Something soured the voices of her people. 
In Rachni psychology, that would be like mind control, I think. It doesn't really translate. Anyway, she believes you are fighting the ones who did that, the and Reapers. she promises to help. She thinks that the Reapers caused the Rachni War? I can't say for sure, but she was certain that her ancestors were forced into war against their will. Her people aren't naturally aggressive. If they made war, it was not of their own doing. So cool. What was your Rachni encounter? How did you find the Rachni? I was working as a courier. Pirates ambushed my ship, and I was forced down on an uncharted planet. I was badly injured, alone and near death. Then they found me. They saved me. Interesting. You obviously got off world again. Did the Rachni give you a ship? No. Countless workers repaired my ship. It runs better now than it did before. They remind me of the keepers on the Citadel in a way. All working together, each with a purpose. Hmm. What happened to the pirates who attacked you? They were obliterated, as they should have been. The Rachni are not aggressive, but they do what they must. I love them. Where are they? Can you tell me where the Rachni are? I'm afraid not. I don't even have that information myself any longer. After I met the Rachni Queen, that information was removed. It's not painful, but I simply don't remember. I'll remember when I need to. And her caution is understandable. The galaxy isn't yet ready for the return of the Rachni. Agreed. And what's your purpose? You said the Queen gave you a purpose. What do you mean? The Queen shared her song with me as I recovered. I saw the Rachni as only an Asari could. They are so beautiful and so vulnerable. They needed someone to purchase things they cannot make themselves. Someone to work within the system. An agent, if you will. I am happy to help. My life as a courier was empty and shallow. Now I'm helping a great race rebuild itself. You were really comfortable walking away from your old life? You're concerned that the Queen is controlling me. I understand, but it doesn't work like that. Our minds were in perfect harmony. I saw their beautiful spirit and their need. I knew what I had to do. If some part of that is suggestion, then it was a side effect from their efforts to save my life. I am happy. Good. Thank you for giving me that information. I'm glad my friend on Novaria is doing well. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. Uh... Like, ever? Because, okay. Anyways, how cool is that? That's because, we obviously, we saved the Rachni Queen. Now, there's something else that we can do over here. We can go ahead and talk to this merchant. I'm looking for the... Hello. Welcome. You look like someone who needs high-quality equipment. And I do. Feel free to look around. My yes. store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. Uh, you know, I'm a big spender. Is everything here so expensive? I'd planned to drop a lot of credits today. Really? I'm outfitting a team for a dangerous mission. I need the best, and I'm willing to pay for it, as long as you work with me. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Oh yeah, Here, give me that discount. A small discount, and when I get special items in, you can take a look. Thank you. What do you mean special what items? Kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs, nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. All right. I'll have a look around. Cool. And we'll go ahead and see what we have here. Biotic damage. We have the doubles the time for bypass. That's probably not something, it's probably not worth buying that one. The hacking one, maybe. Um, probably also not worth it, but what are you going to do? The metagel capacity, I wouldn't worry about that one either. They're so expensive. Uh, the Kestrel helmet is not terrible. It increases shields by 3%, increases weapon damage, increases headshot damage. Uh, the same with the torso and uh, shoulder pieces increases shields by 8%, melee damage by 10%, uh, which is actually very good for a Vanguard. We have the uh, uh, arm sheathing, which is, which is similar. It increases melee damage and shields. So you can actually do a ton of damage um, with, uh, with melee as a Vanguard. The Kestrel armor is actually some of the best in slot equipment that you can get for a Vanguard. It can do a ton, a ton of damage. But we don't have enough to buy multiple sets of it, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. So we can continue looking around Ilium. I need minimal heat increase. 
Hear the Volus talking. Volus are, I like Volus and I don't like Volus. But I did see a certain somebody that we can come talk to that you guys may remember. There's an administration up here. We can open this door, see what's, hello. Ooh. But there's somebody right here who Holy you... Holy crap, Shepard? Yup. I thought you were dead. You guys remember her also from Novaria. Shepard, the news said you were dead. Nope. What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. That's true. It was my pleasure. Happy to help. What happened to Administrator Analeas? He made the one mistake Novaria won't tolerate. He got caught taking their money. He's doing a few years in white collar prison. More importantly, he won't work in the field again. Sit down. If I remember right, I owe you a beer. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. I'm uh, gonna take out the collectors. You ever heard of the collectors? They're attacking human colonies. I'm gonna stop them. Damn, Shepard. For me, a tough job involves more paperwork. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've got to go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer. Let's uh, read this note real quick. Shepard had to leave. Target saw me, couldn't break cover. A sorry merchant smuggling schematics from Novaria. Can you talk her into showing you the good stuff? Oh, yeah, we can. Let's go ahead and talk to uh, this merchant over here who we already talked to. Welcome back. Just so you know, your discount is still good. And I'll let you know about any special items that might hold your interest. You know, I want advanced merchandise. Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well, there is one thing. Very advanced design. Oh, yeah. Not publicly available yet. That's because it's still in development on Novaria, and illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. Parasini, you set me up! But this isn't Novaria. You don't have the authority to arrest me! I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. Uh, hey, what about that schematic? Do you have the authority to seize the schematic she's trying to sell? I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty device to her. All this thing will ever do is blow up in your face. Oh. I, I need to go. I have to talk to my lawyer. Bye. Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. Ah, oh, that was good. I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute. Nice. So let's go ahead and talk to Gianna again and see if... Hey, what do we get for that? We get plus two Paragon. Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love no nailing problem. Asari. So ageless and superior. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. You love it. It must be nice having a job that you really enjoy. I wanted to be a cop or C-Sec, but my family had bills. I needed the money a corporate job brought in. Besides, in this job, you don't see things that make it hard to sleep at night. White collar crime is nice and clean. Hell, at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. Yeah, that was pretty funny though. Anyways, let's see what she has to say. It must be hard going undercover so often. It's not so bad. Go new places, be new people. The only weird part is when you go home and try to talk to people and you forget how to react. Like it's another cover, you know? Deep down, part of you likes fooling people. That's what makes you good at it. Part of me, yeah. I grew up poor and working class. Now I walk around the rich and powerful, taking notes, getting evidence. And they never see me coming. Hmm. What's your plans? What's up next for you? Research. We've had some hacking attacks lately, and I want to make sure they're external. A lot of people are suddenly interested in dark energy. My bosses want to know if it's something to worry about. That'll hold me over until I have to go back undercover anyway. Okay, and tell me about How'd your... you end up on what Novaria happened? anyway? Scholarship program and a competitive internship. Turned out I was only middling at the science, but I could always ferret out secrets. You grow up poor and surrounded by rich kids, you get good at hiding yourself. Helps with going undercover. And it was good it's to been see a you. Pleasure, Gianna. 
You too, Shepard. See you around. And there we go. We completed that mission. We got to see Gianna after Novaria because she survived. We get 40 experience for Paragon, plus the two earlier, plus what we got for charming and intimidating her. Unfortunately, no credits, which is too bad because I am very, very broke. <sighs> this merchant's this already gone, so we don't have to worry about that, but you could negotiate and do all that stuff then, and that's when, you, you know, you could, you could talk to it. If we come up here, we can talk to Nixeris. Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. Liara? What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more political power than she already wields if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. What do you do here? You're Liara's assistant. Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Yeah, she knows. I want to talk to Liara so bad, but I'm a little nervous about it. And let's just let's just do let's just go explore a little bit more, and then and then we'll talk to Liara. Cause I just, you know what I mean? It's just like it's a lot. That's that's our love right there. She will continue to be our love. I know the data is vital to the Perosa family. Asana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. Not out at all. Her mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it. I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. You guys remember Nasana? Excuse me, I'm on an important call. Yeah, I'd say you are. What do we got over here? This is the trading floor. Liara is able to oversee this trading floor. We know that from earlier. Looks like there's a person named Serna here as well. Let's keep looking around before we talk to them. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse, excuse me. Let's go ahead and head up here and see what there is to do. Remember, we're looking for as many side quests as we can knock out while we're here on Helium. This is the way that I just came in. Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. No. I don't know. Some of them seem dangerous. Interesting. That's the whole point. Danger means more contract. No. My friends. She insists this is legal. I don't know. I'm going to call in a favor and have a friend examine the contract. Interesting. Who is this person? They're green. I think Shepherd. we might know this person. I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave. And you killed it. And saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. Oh, yeah? Our... How is Zeus Hope? How's Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however, along with what was left of the Thorian. Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again, or did the Thorian somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zeus' hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive, and the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. Uh, can I help is you? Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I prefer not to start trouble. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans. But the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. Why are you green? Wait a minute, Shiala. You were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. Yeah, I'd say. What are these health what problems? What kind of health problems did the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. 
Sometimes the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. It has to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. Interesting. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. I should have known it was too good to be true, but we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable, which they have. Can they actually force these procedures on you? No, but they can declare us in breach of contract, which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Zoo's hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. You know what? I'll handle it. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontiers representative knows about the issue. So we need to go find the Barrier rep, which is actually literally right in front of us. And we need to be careful with our conversation here because we can actually skip a whole bunch of stuff. So let's talk to her. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. What's the point? Why are you insisting on these tests? What use could they possibly be? Their use is not your concern. A legal binding contract was signed. Nothing else matters. All of you. Humans. Salarians. Turians. You come to our planet, then complain that our laws don't suit you. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Uh, what? Why are you so prejudiced against aliens? Phew, where do I begin? With Salarian explorers unleashing the Rachni upon us, then unleashing the Krogan to correct their mistake? Or the Turians, so eager to bomb every problem away? Or humans, the new arrivals who already think they should be in charge? Every war that has plagued this galaxy has been caused by your people. My people's deaths are on your hands. Wow. Uh... Okay. I thought Asari preferred to mate with other races for genetic diversity. A short-sighted mistake perpetrated by the same self-hating malcontents who spawned the hateful term pure blood. We hardly need your alien DNA to randomize genetic material. A little radiation would work just as well. You provide no diversity, no new insights, no advancement. You bring only chaos and senseless deaths. Ah. We're going to wait and not choose that sounds personal because it's going to lead to something else. So let's ask her a little bit more about what's going on here. You seem to forget that a human saved you from Saren and the Geth. The Geth created by the idiotic Quarians that a rogue Turian specter led in an attack. The Geth didn't start with the Citadel. They attacked your human colony, Eden Prime, first. You humans brought the Geth upon us. You and the Turians are the Quarians. My people's deaths are on your hands. She says that a lot. You really think this is legal? Maybe Ilium's contract analyst should look it over. You ignorant yokel. I was negotiating contracts when your ancestors were still burning witches and enslaving each other. I haven't lost a contract dispute in 70 years. Try me. So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were Asari colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. A sorry like my bondmate, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. Or my daughters, who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. One worked in the embassy, the other was a greeter for the consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Hmm. Well, let's see. We have two options here. We can ask about more or tell us about your family. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people. 
exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I I'm not. I, I didn't. Oh. Sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. And there we go. We can also examine these, the foundation, the Baria Frontiers here, and see what they have, which is actually star charts, which are going to give us uh, navigation charts. We can buy these. Um, might as well, right? These star charts here. And what those star charts do is they actually open up new areas that we can then go to, which is worth doing. They're 500 did a, you get the a star piece. Charts? I did. Yeah. I had to deal with it. Really <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and talk to... Uh, we're going to not talk to Officer to Dara yet because that's like actually them. going to start the recruitment mission for the Justicar dossier. You know, but let's, uh, let's, let's, let's talk to Shyala about you what happened. It. I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus Hope again. I don't think I could have. Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? No. You've got the power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. You gave us a chance by saving the colony. I can't let them down. I won't. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. Oh. You know, I think I think Asari are just attracted to us, honestly. I think that's I think that's, you know, kind of what it is. Commander Cory is uh, you know. They, they got they got things for us and I don't I don't blame them what's this Asari doing I'm telling you relax Vax will never notice a few missing pieces you can see all the no, different I areas here Elysium Mindor Shanksy Palavin Thessia kind of cool Nobody is ever going to see the we can keep going over here there's a weapons You're merchant sure here weapons and armor are good enough for eclipse let's go ahead and talk yeah, to this weapons the merchant over there and don't get cute the whole place is monitored Oh, come on. The store's over there. Fine, what do you got? Don't get cute. The Amplifier plates. Increases power damage by 5%. Shoulder armor, not worth getting. Uh, and we're not going to do any more assault rifle damage or submachine gun damage. Um, heavy, the heavy skin weave we can still do, but um, we're not going to worry too much about it because health isn't that important. It's the shields that are very important for us in our equipment. So anyways, we'll see that there's a store here called Memories of Helium, and then... Of Ilium, let your roots dig deep into the hot soil of Tachanka. Let our scorching sun and sheeting rain turn your supple beauty into strength. For if our love is to survive, it must grow thorns to pierce the hand of any that would uproot. That is Char, a Krogan that is saying poetry to this Asari here. What do you want? Sorry, sorry, that damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. You know, I thought it was pretty cute. Is that Krogan bothering you? No, no, you don't need to hurt him or anything. He's harmless, which I know, Krogan, so it's hard to believe. His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. It's very cute. So why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, no offense. Wow! It made me wonder if he really likes me. Or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know. Because of the genophage. That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been a sorry. 
Nanasari don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA, we're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. Aww, and why are, were you guys it doesn't dating? doesn't seem common for a Sari to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy, really smart, especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. <laughs> you should make a decision. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. I think you should take him back. Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean... What if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. That was cute and actually funny enough that has some really cool repercussions for mass effect 3 some really sad repercussions what about a fish? but repercussions anyways we'll Let's actually get, get the we'll get a discount here as well at this uh this shop here the memories of helium and we can go ahead and buy these models here that will actually be displayed yet again in our cabin that we can the captain's cabin on the ship but we're not able to get the fish this is actually a really cute fish. We don't even have enough credits for fish. That is. He doesn't need a fish, Dad. That is. What a, about you? That is a problem. Could try and make it as a commando. Why not? Anyways, we have more side quests that we can do. Might as well use them, right? won't do anything. There's nowhere that we can use, even though it looks it looks like you can use these transport things, like you could in the Citadel. You actually can't. Helium's fairly small. But we want to head back where we came. We're going to ignore well, Officer Dara over there because, again, that leads to uh, recruiting the Justicar, which we will do. Just not this episode. This is side quest episode time, my friends. And actually worth doing. Again, we need credits. We need all of that. Over here, there's Serna, who is part of the dossier, The Assassin. So we're not going to worry about her talking to her just yet either. And there's nothing up here, unfortunately, that we can get. Um, but instead, we're going to go back basically all the way where we were. We could still go and come face to face with Liara, but I'm just I'm just nervous about it, you know? So instead, we're going to head to the bar called Eternity to meet yet another familiar face. We're running to people, running into people left and right here in Helium. And uh, this one is pretty cool. So we'll head over here to Eternity. I need minimal heat increase. Up these stairs. It's kind of hard to see if you don't know that it's here. But we'll head up and open these doors. Guys, I'm so excited to show you. Asshole arrested. What asshole? Watch yourself if you go in there. Some human is causing trouble. He's demanding that I sign the place over to him. Good to know. I'll be careful. Or you could kill him. You know, legally, in self-defense. I'd make a really good witness. Failing that, I'm hooking up security cameras now. If he or anybody else causes trouble, I'll have their asses arrested. Who is she talking about? We'll get a journal updated, find the troublemaker, but like who? What? What is going on here? So this is the bar Eternity. Looks like a pretty casual bar. There's a I still don't see why we're bachelor here. party here. Samarians do not get married. My family simply negotiated a reproduction contract. Whatever. Okay. You guys get to a wedding. Well, that doesn't sound fun. Not at all. And then he says, oh, it's okay. Our amino acids are all different. So it's not like we can get diseases or anything if we go natural. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is why you shouldn't date humans. <laughs> so then I had to explain about cross-species fluid contact. Completely killed the mood. Not I to love it. that you're a quarian. How could he be so insensitive? What a good conversation. So over here is Lintea, the person for Miranda to talk to, but we're not going to worry about that just yet either. Instead, You're really holding out on me? there is a man named Conrad Werner from Mass Effect 1. I learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from Commander Shepard. Hey, if you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? 
Shepard? Is it really you? It's me, Conrad Burner. We met on the Citadel? I wanted to become a Spectre? Oh, uh, and then you shoved a gun in my face? You showed me what it meant to be truly extreme. I learned that lesson well. Which we never so did. Alive, huh? I hear it goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. We can shoot his foot, we can hit him, or we can say for crying out loud. Conrad, why are you acting like me? What are you crazy? I'm nothing like you. I'm not a specter working for the council. I'm on my own, backed only by my wits and my nerves. No rules, no laws, just whatever it takes to get the job done. I'm not like you at all. That's true. Why are you wearing my armor then? How'd you get that armor? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, if you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive, but my wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare off world. Oh my god. So you just wander the galaxy writing wrongs? Hey, don't say it like that. I talk to people, you know? Ask them if they have big problems that only I can solve. You'd be surprised how many people are just waiting for someone to talk to them. Sometimes I poke through crates too, you know, for extra credits. All right. And what's your training? Conrad, do you have any actual combat training? I'm saving the galaxy, Shepard. I don't have time for training. Don't you get it? You were a big jerk, but you saved the galaxy and showed other races that humans mattered. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. I can't believe that it's treating it like I, I didn't, I paragoned it. Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military, much less part of my squad. I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. I'm doing the best I can, okay? You were a hero. You saved the galaxy and showed it. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. So what, what's going on here? Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dealer. I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapons store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. She told me about it when I introduced myself. Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. Oh, Conrad. I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. Just let me know if you need any help, Shepard. Oh, Conrad, I don't need any help, you weirdo. Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. Yeah. It saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. That makes the other customers nervous. Anyway, this is Eternity, and I'm Athita, a sorry matriarch and bartender. Get you anything? Oh, what? You're an Asari matriarch? I thought matriarchs served as honored advisors. She's not gonna like right. that. Which I do here at this bar. I know, not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachnite Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Yeah, I guess so. Uh means you have a long lifespan. What's it like living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar. Even had a pure-blood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. And one day you wake up. Your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. Huh. So your parents were in bars? If your mother fought in the rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. 
turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. That's pretty neat. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw up with Saren and his geth a few years back. Their ships were hanging bare-assed in space when Saren started shooting. If not for you humans, we would have bought it right there. And I warned him. Told people on Thessia what was coming and they didn't want to hear it. You knew what was coming? What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't going to cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue up my ass. So now I serve drinks. Uh, I want to know more about your father. You said your father fought in the Rachni Wars? Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan think they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. Same. I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen at a muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from her father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. What about your mother? Your mother fought in the Krogan rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She'd put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. That's cute, though. Anyways. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Catch you anything else? Uh, nope. Just looking around. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. Cool. But we're not done. We need to go... Let's see. What does the journal say now? We need to go find this weapons merchant that was talking and lied to Conrad and figure out why they lied to him. Conrad's here. talking to the weapons merchant. If you're looking for things to do. So the thing that we... The one that we have to go over to is we were actually already over there so this is a little bit long of a walk but it's over by the blue rose of helium where the guy was talking about uh was reading poetry so we'll head over here to this weapons merchant can i help you with something yeah i think conrad verner spoke to you i talked to an old friend conrad verner you told him that the eternity lounge was selling red sand oh you're conrad's friend yes that place is really dangerous I should know. I'm an undercover cop. Did you get me the deed to the bar? I need the deed to, uh, stop the red sand dealers. You know what? I'll help you. I softened up the bar owner, but you need to go in and finish them off. Really? Are you sure? Absolutely. You just need to close the deal. Go in, be tough, and let them know you're with me. They'll hand the deed right over. Well, great. Here, I'll set you up for a discount. Thanks for the help. <laughs> <laughs> we tricked her. All right, and now we go all the way back to the bar. I don't know. That's still Damn it! This is just a misunderstanding. Tell it to the judge. My surveillance vids caught your extortion attempt from four different angles. Nice. I was misled. I was told that you had agreed to sell. <laughs> Take her away before I have my bartender throw her out. Perfect. Let's go ahead and talk to Conrad, too, now. What happened? The undercover cop from the weapons kiosk just got arrested. And we have some choices here, and we can say you blew her cover, uh, which eventually will allow us to do something right, or we're going to lie and say it was a sting. She wasn't a cop. She was a deep cover operative from a terrorist cell. I'd never have found her if not for you. Really? Really. You did a great job, Conrad. Now, please, go home. Let me take it from here. Can do, Shepard, and thanks. It's really good to have you back. And just like that, Conrad Werner and this mission is done. Which, good, because, wow. Anyways, the situation where, uh, the situation where Conrad Werner and the lying weapons merchant has been resolved, and Conrad seems happy with the outcome. We can still Welcome talk to the back, bartender babe. if we want. Can I get you anything? We could say to tell us about yourself, but we already know pretty much everything we can about her. All right. I'll I'll see you, bartender. 
And there should be another quest in here. I believe we actually have to leave and then come back to activate that. So, so let's go ahead and leave and then come oh, back. It's okay. But we're going to come all the way back here and go have a conversation finally with... There is another mission in the bar, but we're going to worry about that later. It's time that we go talk to Liara to Sony. faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. You have a helmet on! What are you doing? My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. Your sources? You have sources now? A few. Sources, contacts, even a little hired muscle. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... Well, for the past two years. And now you're back. Gunning for the collectors with Cerberus. Come with me. If you know that, then you know that I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here. Things I need to take care of. What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. Huh. Just tell me what's going on. What's this all about, Liara? Can't you just talk to me? Don't you think I want to, Shepard? This isn't because I don't trust you. This is Ilium. Anything I say is probably being recorded. Hacking a terminal sounds pretty easy. Why do you need me? I don't know anyone else I can trust. Hacking the security node won't get you the data. It just creates a minor glitch in the system. You'll have a short time to find a local server left vulnerable by that glitch and upload the data to my system. I'm leaving my own system vulnerable so that the data can be imported during that short time. Oh, okay. We can help. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there. If you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. And what about Samara and Thane? I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. <laughs> he contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with tracking officer Dara. You can find Dara at the transportation hub. Why would Samara have to register with a tracking officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. Now, this is important. Uh, we have an option here that says, let's get the Shadow Broker. Don't do that. If you do that, it's going to start the mission. It's not going to allow us to do the side quest you just gave us or the side quest that follows after that. Don't hit, let's get the Shadow Broker. Don't do it yet. Just ask how she is. How's your own work going? Everyone needs information, Shepard. You want to know why I don't drop everything to join you? I need to get that data. It should be about friendship or trust. But that's not the way it works on Ilium. Let me know when you hack those terminals. Give me that, and I can talk to you. Okay. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one... Thank you, Shepard. This may help. I'll talk to you later, Liara. What we have to do then is we have to go shut down this 
thing that she was talking about, this side quest that she wants us to do. So we're going to head all the way back to the transit area where the Baria representative was, where Shyala was. So once we're in this transit area, we want to turn around. It's actually going to be right over here. We'll have this secure station where we'll go ahead and hack this terminal. And we have plenty of time to do this because we did the upgrade, even though we probably shouldn't have because we're super, super broke. Uh, and we are looking for... There it is. Easy. Plenty of time to get that. Probably didn't should have done that, but this way I'm not stressed out. You know, it's it's peaceful. And now we have a minute to get to where we're going, which is all the way over on this side over here. Uh, right over here, we can upload the data. Hey, your blue shift Perfect. That's funny, right? So we were able to upload the data to who we're looking for, but we're not done just yet. There's going to be another terminal that we're going to be able to hack, which is literally right here is the second one. So that's where we uploaded. This is where we're going to secure this one. And we'll hack it, grab this real quick. Go down to one that we need. We have plenty of time. Maybe it's a good thing that I did this. I don't know. I feel like I wasted a lot of credits doing this, but hey, what are you going to do? And then we'll grab this one there. And there we go. That one's done. That would have been maybe a little bit close if we didn't do it before. So we're going to turn around. We're going to start running towards where we got to go. You have 60 seconds to get to where you're going. Uh, which is over here. And we can upload it right in this one. Look how easy that was. So we can grab this one that's right next to where we just uploaded it. That's the whole point. Danger means more contract work for us. Go ahead and hack this. Be able to do this real quick. Oops. That wasn't right. It was there and then it went away real quick. Um, but that's fine. We can we can still do it. And there we go. There's the third one. Made that very easy by doing the uh, hacking takes less time. And then we just need to run to the other one, which is all the way over here. This is going to be tight to get there in time, but maybe we can. Pure bloods are a waste of genetic Yep, it's going to be right That's here. Woo! Shepard, this is Liara. That's in a different spot in the Legendary down. Edition. Come see me when you've got a moment. They should be prohibited from breeding. That's weird. What was your father again? All right, so, so we got to go all the way back to Liara. So heading back up to Liara, we can tell her that we did this data point thing. She's going to have a new Shepherd, assignment for us. It's good to see you again. Thank you for getting me that system data. You're welcome. Here. It's not much. But hopefully it will help you on your mission. It's not much at all. Do you it's remember the Shadow Broker? Credits. With the data you got me, I may be able to find information caches from his agents. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, uh, who? Who's that? I've got a lot on my plate. Remind me who the Shadow Broker is. He's the most powerful and dangerous information broker in the galaxy. No one knows who he is. Given his resources, there's speculation he may actually be a group operating under one name. Are you on the run from the Shadow Broker? I can help you. Actually, it would be more accurate to say that the Shadow Broker is on the run from me. We crossed paths not long after you died. Since then, I've been working to take him down. With this data, I'm a step closer. Uh, come with me. What? Wait, what happened? I've never seen you ready to execute someone in cold blood. What did the Shadow Broker do to you? I was on a job with a friend. The Shadow Broker's people caught us. My friend didn't escape. I don't know if he's dead or being interrogated, but I need to find him. I owe him my life. And I need to make the Shadow Broker pay for what he did. You can't come with me because you're after the Shadow Broker? What if I help you find him? I'm sorry, Shepard. The galaxy doesn't work that way. I need to find leads, trace information. I need to work. I can't do that on the Normandy. I wish I could. Well, good luck with your plan. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I will. No. Is there anything else I can help you with? No. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Talk to Liara later. See if she has problems that need anything. Liara has all the data she needs. She may need more information in the future, however. So it looks like we'll have to help her later. What does that mean for us, though? Anyways, let's head out of here. Let's see if maybe talking to her will allow us to just do this again. So, what can I do? How's your own work going? The data you gave me was extremely helpful. It gave me a target. The Shadow Broker has several contacts here on Ilium. The most powerful is someone called the Observer. 
Taking down the Observer will put me closer to the Shadow Broker. I could use your help. Tell me what I can do to help. Your data pointed me at logs kept by Shadow Broker agents. The logs were deleted, but it may be possible to reconstruct some of it. The Shadow Broker is cautious. His agents are referred to only by their title and race. My inquiries have narrowed the Observer down to one of five operatives. A Turian, a Salarian, a Krogan, a Batarian, and a Vorcha. If you can refine the list, I'll know where to strike. Hmm. Let's intimidate them. Let me go talk to these people. I'll get the name you need. This is a delicate operation, Shepard. If you shake down one agent, the others will go to ground, and my chance will be lost. Liara is right. We need to get enough evidence to strike, and we need it soon. I'm more than capable of handling the violence, Shepard. I need your help gathering the data. Do you have any specifics on these agents? I'm afraid not. Nixeris was lucky to get as much as she did. I was happy to help, ma'am. The data is our only hope of determining which one is the Observer. And if we wait too long, they'll all disappear. All right. I'm on it. I'll reconstruct the data and tell you what I find. Thank you, Shepard. When you find something, call me on the radio channel we used in the old days. I can't risk handling this in person. Okay. Well, I'll talk to you later. That means we have a mission to do. We need to run around all of Elium, finding these different data fragments, and uh, hopefully being able to figure out who this observer is. And I think we'll be able to do that. There's a data point right here that we can hack. So why don't we do that? And should be pretty easy to do. But, you know, maybe it was a good thing I did that, huh? Go ahead and we'll do this one. This is data point five, if I'm not mistaken. Vorcha Trader has requested no further contact with Salarian. Salarian is, is becoming more trouble than he's worth. Observer recommends a kill, but she may have a grudge. Did you get any information on the Observer? Not yet. We're not going Let to tell her to kill data. anyone. I'll get back to you. Thank you. So we need to keep finding more that we can do. There's a data point here that we can hack. Let's go ahead and do that. But you can see that you could find these pretty quickly. It's not, it's not like they're, you know, the hardest things in the world to find. We'll get data points number four. Turian contact. Working well with the trader. Observer has rescinded kill order against him, given difficulty in securing method with a trader. We call Liara. It's not going to do anything. So we're going to ignore calling Liara until we get all ten of these terminals done for all five of these terminals done i should say definitely makes these hacks way too easy trader tried to kill the batarian and claims it was because he hates slavers but the men were more likely fighting over money watch for now interesting so maybe it's not the one we thought it was so we're gonna head over to the over here we should have another browser that, another terminal that we can hack right here i want something that says Go ahead and do this. The other one is going to be in the Eternity Bar, which hopefully we can also at the same time. Oops. Data point three. The Turian's asking too many questions. Observer recommends terminating him and framing Assassin or Salarian contact. Turian's asking. To, so it's not the Turian. It's not the Batarian. Is it a Vorcha? Anyways, let's head over to Eternity Bar. Should be another terminal, and this is going to be the last one we need. Let's go ahead and do this. Smuggler and assassin have refused to work with the Vorcha due to lack of trust. Odd to see scruples from the men. So, none of it works. Did you get any information on the observer? None of the suspects fit. All five of the suspects are male. The observer is female. Something's not right. Who gave you this lead? My assistant, Nixeris. She got the information. Nixeris gave me the information. Uh huh. Well, shoot. That's probably not great. Uh, let's return to Liara. Uh, before she slaughters her... Her assistant. Well, let's see. Looks like she's gone, so... Hi, Liara. It's good to see you again. Nixeris had some interesting data hidden away. Thank you, Shepard. I wouldn't have caught her without you. I'm one step closer to the Shadow Broker thanks to you. Here. Nixeris was very well compensated. You need it more than I do. 
How was the fight? Did you have any trouble with Nyxeris? She was very talented. I imagine that had she been ordered to assassinate me, I had never seen her coming. But her barriers needed practice. Practice I'm afraid she won't be getting. You're so cool. What's the next step in your hunt? Now I gather information, peel away layers of lies, and shine light into the shadows. And when I find the Shadow Broker, I hit him with a biotic field so strong that what's left of his body will fit into a coffee cup. Okay. That anger can't be just from what you've told me. What else happened between you and the Shadow Broker? Did Cerberus ever tell you how they recovered your body? I gave it to them. I gave you to them, Shepard. Because they said they could rebuild you. And to do that, I had to take it from the Shadow Broker, who was going to sell your corpse to the Collectors. You did it? You're the one that... Whoa. Why didn't you tell me about this before now? Because I screwed it up, Shepard. I barely escaped with my own life. And when I gave you to Cerberus, I told myself I was doing it for you. For a chance to bring you back. But I knew Cerberus would use you for their own business. And I let it happen. Because I couldn't let you go. I'm sorry. I'm not. You did the right thing, Liara. My mission is important. I couldn't do it if you hadn't given me to Cerberus. Thank you. I... I was afraid you'd hate me. So that's why I must destroy the Shadow Broker. For what he did to my friend. And to you. And whatever he's doing with the Collectors. Liara's needs. Is there anything else you need from me? No. You've done enough. If I find anything useful, I'll let you know. For now, I need to do what I do. No. Is there anything else I can help you with? Now, unfortunately, that ends the conversation. You're not able to ask her anything else, so you actually lose out on Paragon or Renegade points if you choose Liara's needs. I'm still waiting. Even with Nyxeris dead, it could be years before I track the Shadow Broker down. But someday he'll slip up, and I'll be there. I'll talk to you later, Liara. So it is, we get 5,000 credits for that. Shepard. We could go buy a fish now. Again. So, what can I do for you? So again, we could choose the, uh, let's get the Shadow Broker, and we could start that right now, but we're not going to. Uh, that, we're not. That's, I'll talk to you later, Liara. We're not going to do that. We're going to leave. Liara, I want you to know I love you. And the fact that I'm alive is because of Liara. And I and I love that detail that they add there because you kind of like you could just not do those side quests and never know how they recovered our body or uh, Shepard's body. But that's how that's how they did it. And I think that's so cool. No, you don't understand. I lost it somewhere near. So we're actually going to go back. We're going to head back and we're going to go on the Normandy and then we're going to go back to the so we'll get on board the Normandy. And then we'll we'll go come back to uh Commander, Oh hello. A pleasure to see you again. Can I help you with something? No. Have a pleasant visit to Nos Astra, Commander. Okay, bye. We're gonna go back inside and then come back and finish the last side quest that we can do here. So now that we're back in the Eternity Bar after going to this uh the Normandy and like refreshing this area, because Conrad Werner actually gets rid of this. We still have a party of Tally, and I do recommend doing that because we have a quest right Stuff here. Okay, I'll think of something. You said synthetic insights would buy me. You said it was an easy sale. I assumed they would want an AI tech. Hello, can I help you with something? Yeah, free your slave, now. I need you to let that slave go, now. We prefer the term indentured servant. And I know that Batarian slavers have made humans understandably prejudiced against slavery. Before you do anything hasty, know that this Quarian signed the agreement voluntarily and her servitude contract is completely legal on Ilium. If you actually want to help the Quarian, convince the Synthetic Insights representative to purchase her contract. Huh. Let's investigate. Why did this Quarian sign herself into slavery? I tried to play the stock market. I'm good with numbers and I thought I had a way to make unlimited money. I lost everything. Then I got a credit line and lost that. Then I took out an illegal loan. Get the picture. As part of our agreement, I paid off her debts. Five years from now, she'll have a fresh start and excellent work references. Sounds great. 
Unless you lose her paperwork or come up with a reason to hold her longer. All contracts are monitored by Ilium Law Enforcement. In a case such as you described, the burden of proof would be on me. No system is perfect, but safeguards are set up to protect all parties. So slavery is legal on Ilium? Indentured servitude lasts a set amount of time or until agreed upon conditions are met. Ilium must approve all contracts. The law limits what restraint or corrective options I can use and what tasks I can legally assign her. I'm also legally responsible for her behavior and health. Abuse is absolutely forbidden. Okay, what's the problem then? If slavery is legal, then why are you trying to sell the quarry in? I don't keep service contracts myself. I'm a contract broker. I assumed Synthetic Insights would jump at the chance for a skilled AI tech, but they won't even make me an offer. Why not just keep her? You said she had technical skills. Quarian's strict health requirements and diets make them expensive to house and feed. I run at a minor profit at best. I don't have the money for constant suit repairs and clean room facilities. So what happens if Synthetic Insights won't take me? A solution always presents itself. I will take care of you. What if I bought her myself? I could let her go and everyone would be happy. A gallant offer with three problems. First, her technical skill merits a contract of several hundred thousand credits. There's also a fee for freeing me before my service period ends. Exactly. And finally, you are clearly a traveler. Her service contract requires that she remain on Ilium. I don't want them to take me off to a mine somewhere. All right, I'll try to help. I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. So, we need to find the Synthetic Insights person, which, by the way, is literally right here and very, something? very easy to talk to. So, that's nice. How'd you like to get your hands on an expert Quarian AI programmer? If you'd like to submit a resume, I... Wait, is this that slave? Synthetic Insights has no interest in purchasing slave labor. We're under enough scrutiny from the Citadel without engaging in practices the Council disapproves of. To be frank, we're hardly hiring anyone. The Geth attack on the Citadel didn't engender much love for artificial intelligence. Hmm. That makes sense. I'll tell the slave broker. Hopefully she'll understand. Thank you. I'd appreciate that. So we're gonna do this to get the best way possible, which is to go back to the slave broker. You again. Did you talk to Synthetic Insights about purchasing my slave's contract? Yeah, they had a list of reasons. They've got a policy against taking slaves. They're also having financial problems. I knew this was a stupid risk. The economy is too unstable to be taking on risky projects. I'm sorry. Please, this is not your fault. It is my responsibility to care for you. I will think of something. You know, we can use this to... You can free her. Come on. You said that Ilium has a whole system for contracts. Where there's a system, there's wiggle room. Well, I don't want to keep her because I don't think I can maintain her health. Isn't there some kind of clause that lets you release someone for health reasons? Wait. Yes. Yes, there is. I can claim medical necessity. She will be free and 80% of my contract price will be refunded. It was never meant to Perfect. be Aquarians, And they'll close that loophole after we use it. But it will work for us. Thank you. Here, for your trouble. Now, Why wouldn't it work for me, court? Then they don't obviously care. Thank you. I'll stay out of trouble this time. Now, I believe we can also just go back Is and talk to the Synthetic change? Insights rep. Hello again. Was there something other than the Quarian problem I can help you with? And if I'm not mistaken... It sounds like Synthetic Insights is worried about its reputation. We, Hiring this Quarian would help. We can double Buying dip a slave here. helps our reputation. How exactly do you figure? Purchase the contract, minus the fee for early emancipation, then free the quarrying and garnish wages for reimbursement. Either way... I know the migrant fleet would be grateful, and more likely to make purchases from you. Interesting. We look good for hiring a quarrying, and we can say that we freed slaves out of the goodness of our hearts. All right, I'll run up a contract. The board might wet its pants, but we could use the good publicity. This quarrying had better be good, though. The best. No matter what, that quarrying was being freed. So we'll able, we're able to do that. We're able to get the extra Paragon points. And that, my friends, is actually pretty much everything we can do now. 
on Ilium that isn't recruiting people. So the indentured server is now, the situation with the indentured quarian has been resolved. She is no longer in danger. Uh, we've done pretty much everything. It's, it's, that's it. So we've done all of those assignments. The only things that we have left is the recruitment missions for the Justicar and the Assassin. They have the Shoda Broker DLC that we're not gonna handle right now. And Miranda needs to do her mission, which is actually right here and is what we will be doing next. So in the next episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition, we are going to get Miranda's loyalty and make sure that she is with us to the end and that she is loyal to us and not Cerberus. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Mass Effect. It was a long one, but we got a lot done um, and uh, a lot of side quests on Helium, a lot of shopping and not a lot of credits. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres. Even bigger shout out to those of you on patreon.com slash missile online. Sincerely appreciate you guys. Thank you for keeping me around. Uh, I love you and never give up. Never surrender to indentured servitude. Bye everyone.